Hi, sixth graders. This is Mrs. Call. Today, we're going to review order of operations in our PEMDAS process that we use. Get your notebook open to a fresh page and push play when you're ready to continue. If you don't have the PEMDAS acronym written down, please write it down now. A reminder that P stands for taking care of parentheses first. E stands for taking care of exponents next. Multiplication and division, they share the same step because we work with whichever one appears first from left to right. And same thing for addition and subtraction. Some refreshers on vocabulary related to exponents. The base is the number that we're going to multiply and the exponent is the number of times we multiply the base. Here's an example of a power. The base is the large two, that's the number we're going to multiply. And the three, the exponent, tells us how many times we're going to multiply the two. So expand it out, that would look like two times two times two. I know two times two is four, and four times two is eight, which is two to the third power. Let's go through some example problems together. Find somewhere that you can write and please make sure you're writing these down with me. My first problem is 24 divided by 3 times 2 plus 4. We're going to start by asking ourselves, do we have any parentheses? We do not, so we move on to the next letter, E. Do we have any exponents? We do not, so we move on to the multiplication and division step. With multiplication and division, since we have both, we want to work with whichever one shows up first in our problem. Which one do you see that shows up first in our problem? The division. So we take care of the division first. 24 divided by 3, that gives us 8. And I continue to bring down the rest of my problem exactly as it was. If you don't remember what a dot means, that means to multiply. So next, we've already taken care of our division. The next thing we would take care of is that multiplication before we're able to move on to our addition. 8 times 2 gives us an answer of 16. And we bring down the plus 4. Last step is 16 plus 4, which gives us 20. Pause if you need more time to write. Let's try another one that incorporates some exponents and parentheses in it. Six times three squared minus in parentheses, eight minus four close parentheses. In this example, we're going to want to start with our P for parentheses, and I see that we have parentheses. We have one step inside of them, so I'm going to underline that step. 8 minus 4 gives us 4. Write that answer and drop down the rest of the problem in the exact order that it appeared above. After we've taken care of parentheses, next we see our E for exponents. Do we have any exponents in this problem? Yes, our 3 squared. A reminder that this means 3 being multiplied by itself 2 times, so that's 3 times 3. 3 times 3 would give us 9. We replace that 3 squared with a 9 and drop down the rest of our problem. Next, we have multiplication or subtraction. Which one would come first? If we look at PEMDAS, that multiplication and division should come first. So we're going to take care of 6 times 9 first. That would give us 54. And 54 minus 4 gives us our final answer of 50. I want you to try getting started on this one on your own. Pause the video if you feel confident in trying it. 
If you need more assistance, keep the video playing. When you're ready to hear me walk through the problem and answer, push play. We've got seven plus in parentheses, five minus one times two, close parentheses, times nine. If you feel confident in trying this one, press play, pause now. If you'd like to see the answer or have me walk through it, have it play. The first thing we want to take care of here are our parentheses, but we want to follow the PEMDAS process inside the parentheses. So if I'm inside the parentheses, I have subtraction and multiplication, and I know multiplication comes before that addition and subtraction. So I take 1 times 2 to give us 2, and I still have that 5 minus inside of the parentheses. We cannot get rid of those parentheses until we get them down to one number. So you'll notice I kept the parentheses around the 5 minus 2. That means we still need to take care of those parentheses. So that is our next step, 5 minus 2, which gives us 3. I was trying to color coordinate there. Let's see, 3. Then I can drop the parentheses because we got that down to one number and bring down the 7 plus and the times 9. If I'm thinking about PEMDAS, which operation should I use which operation should I use first? That would be our multiplication. 3 times 9. That gives us 27. And last but not least, we would take 7 plus 27. That should give us 34 as a final answer. I've got one more type for you, and this one is set up in a fraction format. A friendly reminder that fractions mean to divide. We're going to get an answer for the top part of our fraction and an answer for the bottom part of our fraction and divide those two numbers. We should get a whole number answer. Go ahead and get the problem written down. Up top we have 2 to the third times 3 minus 4. And on the bottom of the fraction, we have 2 plus 6 minus 4. I usually like to give myself a little space above to write some work, so I'm going to erase a little bit of my last problem here to give me some work space. So we're going to start with just one side of the fraction. I generally start with the top side, and we're going to follow PEMDAS for this problem up here. I don't see any parentheses, so what should I evaluate first? Probably my exponent here, 2 to the third. Remember, 2 to the third is like taking 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. The rest of my problem stays the same up top. Next, I have multiplication or subtraction. If I'm following order of operations, I would take care of the, the multiplication first. 8 times 8 is 64. And we still have the minus 4. 64 minus 4 gives, a, gives us a final answer of 60 for the top part of our fraction. I'm going to take that 60 and just rewrite it over here so I can see it a little bit easier. That's the top number in our fraction. For the bottom of our fraction, we're going to follow PEMDAS again. You'll notice we only have addition and subtraction. Which one should we do first? Whichever one shows up first, because addition and subtraction share that step, so it's whichever one appears first from left to right. 2 plus 6 gives us 8. And 8 minus 4, when we bring down that minus 4, gives us 4. That means the bottom of our fraction became a 4. The very last step is to just take these two numbers and actually divide, because a fraction bar means to divide. This should divide nicely for us, and if it doesn't, that's an indicator we may have made a mistake. 60 can be divided by 4. It can be divided by 4 15 times. So 60 divided by 4 simplifies there to a 15, and that is our final answer. Hopefully this helped clarify a little bit of our PEMDAS process. Try your independent practice and check in with your teacher if you have any questions.